Alright, so your chapter 2 test is due this coming Monday. So, and I just looked, nobody's taken the chapter 2 test, which is fine. We're still early on. It just opened this past Monday. So, um, chapter 2 is due, um, homework is due Sunday night. So this Sunday night, homework is due, and your chapter 2 test is due Monday when hub closes. So you have Monday to take the test. So your um, homework is due Sunday at midnight. So you can do your homework on Sunday up through midnight, and then your test for chapter 2 is due Monday when hub closes. And remember, you have to start the test at least an hour before um, the hub closes. Okay? Now, <clears throat> chapter 2, which is the one that's open right now, that is the one right here that we talked about last time. The test that's open right now has 18 questions. That's the um, frequency tables and the relative frequency and the cumulative frequency, the dot plot, the stem plot, all that stuff. That's the one that's open right now. And you said that all those questions, because I didn't look into it last time, and I'm going to ask you this soon. Review questions are right. Yes. Right. right. So you really don't need to study this Individual. as long as you do that review. That review is these questions. Sorry. Yeah. That's what I thought. It was. Yeah. And so now we're working on chapter three. And we started chapter three last time. Um, we started doing, and this test for chapter three is mean, median, mode. Um, and I can pull that up the chapter three. The chapter 3 is going to be mean, median, mode, weighted mean, variance, standard deviation, um, box plot, z-score, five number summary. This one is going to be 19 questions. It looks like it's 20 questions, but number, whatever, number, whatever this one is, number 15 says C20 below. So number 15 is number 20 below. So your test is only 19 questions. Okay, so <clears throat> what we did last time is we talked about how to find mean, median, and mode using our calculator like the new way. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, for this problem, where I am, for this problem, I'll, it talks about if these P's come across, I want to know the type of P they are. So if they come across and they're smooth and yellow, I call them a 1. If they're smooth and green, I call them a 2. If they're wrinkled and yellow, I call them a 3. If they're wrinkled and green, I call them a 4. So I want to know, can the measures of center be obtained? And the measures of center are going to be the mean, the median, the mode, and the mid-range. So can we find those things? That's going to be my first question. And then my second question is, do they make sense? Okay. So, we're going to go new school. Do we remember how to do it new school? Mean, median, mode, and mid-range. Do we remember how to do new school? Would you add them all together and then divide them by the total of the numbers that's there? Yep. Old school is mean is the average, which is when you add them all up and divide by how many numbers you have. Median is the one in the middle, which is when you put them in order and find the one in the middle. And if there's two in the middle, you add them up and divide by two. Mode is the number that appears the most. And how do we get mid-range? The one in the middle, high plus low, divided by two. Now, I showed you how to do this easier on your calculator. So on our calculator, we're going to hit the stat button. We're going to hit the stat button because this is a statistic problem. <clears throat> so on our calculator, we're going to hit the stat button. The stat is next to your arrows. Going to hit the stat button. And then we're going to do edit. Perfect. So we do stat edit. And then you go up and then enter. Go up to the top and then hit enter. Absolutely. Dig in there. I've got to find one that's got a battery. What just happened? 
see, I have it. Okay, we do stat edit. Y'all write it right here. Yeah, we did stat edit, and then we go up to the top and we hit clear enter. So stat edit is where you go and type in your data. And then when you go up to the top and you hit clear enter, that clears out the data that's in there. And if you didn't have any data in there, you didn't clear anything out. Are we good so far? Okay. Now we're ready to put this data in there. So you're going to type in the first number, enter, the next number, enter, the next number, enter. You're going to type in all of that data. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six ones in a row. There's 25 pieces of data. <clears throat> until it gives you the answers. And remember, hold on, I'm getting back to where we were. Mine says that. Okay, so we did stat, we went over to calculate, and then we chose the one bar stats, and then we just hit enter, 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 enter as many times as your calculator. Sometimes some calculators have to hit it one time. Some calculators have to hit it three times. <coughs> so it's according to what calculator you have. Now, your first page of data. You need calculator. Your first page of data, and then there's that arrow at the bottom that lets you know that there's another page of data. So you have to hit that down arrow to get to the second page of data. Now, so far, the only thing that we know from this data is that the very first thing, that X bar, that X bar is the mean. So X bar is your mean. So this is the mean. And if we scroll down, your MED on the second page, that is your median. Now, we are sad that the mode you cannot do by calculator. But that's the easiest one to do. The mode is the one that appears the most. So if I go through the numbers, which one shows up the most? One, two, three, or four? One. One. So your mode is going to be one. Oh, we haven't done mid range yet. I'm going to leave that one off because we didn't do that one last time. We're just going to do mean, median, and mode. 
figure out what you were talking about. Yeah, we didn't do that last time. In my brain, I thought we did, but we didn't. So mean, median, and mode. So mean is your X bar, median is your MED, and then mode is the one that appears the most. The number one appears more often than anything else. Yay? <coughs> Now, because I just looked down and I'm like, oh, I didn't do mid-range. Mid-range is the last one. Mid-range is when you do your high plus your low divided by two. And this is not on your formula sheet, which means you need to memorize it. So it's your highest value plus your lowest value divided by two. Now, the good news is, if for example, I wanted to do the mid-range of the previous problem, high plus low divided by two. The good news is, maximum is your highest value. Minimum is your lowest value. So my maximum is four, my minimum is one, and if I divide that by 2, and remember I said when you're using your calculator, you want to get that answer before you divide by 2. So you want to do 4 plus, you want to do 4 plus 1, get an answer, and then divide by 2. So that is going to be your mid-range. Now, technically, you don't have to go through all of this. You could come up here and say, okay, my biggest number is 4, my smallest number is 1, add them up, divide by 2. But if you're already doing one bar stats, it'll tell you your maximum and your minimum. That's going to be your high and your low. So my mid-range my mid is going to be 2.5. So your mid-range is halfway between your highest value and your lowest value. <coughs> <clears throat> That's your mid-range. So we've done mean, median, mode, and mid-range. Some of you are going, yay, we're finally doing some real math. And then you're going, oh, I never thought I would say, let's do some real math. All right. So let's play with one. We want the mean, the median, the mode, and the mid-range. Mean, median, mode, and mid-range of that one. We're still at 3-1. This stupid thing printed out and it printed out all, all cattywampus, so now I have to take, I forgot I gotta take each chapter out and get them back in order. Uh, gotcha. So that's why I'll confuse myself and I forgot. So uh, gotcha. We're good. There's there's right. There we are. Mean, median, mode, and mid-range. <coughs> How do we clear it again? Go to the top uh -huh. and hit clear, enter. Get on top of L1 and hit clear, enter. on line number 31. 
So you should be on L31 when you finish. And it doesn't matter when you type them in whether you go side to side or whether you go up or down. And if you skip a number, you can put it at the end. They don't have to be in any particular order as long as they're there. Huh? You put 44 enter, 43 enter. So you, you're on line 31? So now you do stat over to calc, because you now need to calculate it now that you have your data in there. And then do, yeah, one bar statistics. One bar statistics means the easiest one variable. And we need mean, median, mode, and mid-range. <clears throat> Stat edit. Then go to the top and hit clear enter. or wherever Alex, t I mean my math lab tells me to round it to. Then my next thing is my median. Did y'all get that? <coughs> yeah, I got 46.5. Did I type mine in wrong? That's what I got. I got 49.2. Did y'all get 49.3? Yeah. The median? It looked like you had it as well. Did y'all get 49.23? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just making sure I type mine in right. Okay, for the median mm -hmm. is the MED. Did y'all get 46.5? Uh, <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sometimes I get to type in too fast and I want to make sure mine matches up with y'all's. Okay, so 46.5 is my MED. So that's my median. If you didn't get these, you may want to go back and go, go hit stat edit again and look at your numbers to make sure that you missed it, mistype, or missed something. Now, your mode, the mode is the one that you cannot do in the calculator. That is the one that appears the most. Which number appear, number or numbers appear the most? 36, 37. Okay, 36 appears how many times? Three. 37 appears one, two, three, and then do we have anything else? 51. 51 appears 1, 2, is that it? Okay, so how about top row? Uh, 3. So because they all appear 3 times, they all are going to be your mode. Now, had you had another 36, then 36 would be your only mode. But because, just because they appear more than once does not make it a mode. It's because they all appear the same amount that is the most. Now, your mid-range is high plus low divided by 2. So if I come down, I can take my high and low from here. So there's my low, there's my high. My high is 90, my low is 19, uh, 11. My high is 90, my low is 11. 
So when I go to my calculator, it's going to be 90 plus 11 divided by 2. Oh, 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 it didn't like to get it. 90 plus 11 divided by 2. There's my mid range. <clears throat> so my mid range is going to be 50.5. There, 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 and there. Yay? And like I said, you can go old school for the mean and median. But I'm going to give you a lot of data, and so it's going to be hard to put them in order and come in from either side. I know. We called out on you out of every three. Thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's do another one. Bryant, do you need a calculator? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do another one. Mean, median, mode, and mid range. Yes, on your homework. Sometimes you're going to have lots of data and sometimes you're going to have a little bit of data. So just be prepared. stat, hit enter to choose edit, that's what lets me put in the data. Then I go to the top and I hit clear enter. <coughs> then I type in my data. There's 11 pieces of data, maybe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces of data. So I ended up on line number 12. So now I do stat over to calc. I hit enter to choose one of our stats. And I just hit enter until I get what I need. And then I hit the down arrow to get my second page of data. Like I said, you're going to do this. So do what, baby? Okay, so the first time I did stat edit, and I went to the top, I went up to L, on top of L1, and I hit clear enter to clear, <coughs> and then I typed it all in, and then I hit stat over to calc, and then enter, 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 until you see a bunch of data on your screen. And that's the first page of the answers. 
And then if you hit the down arrow, there's a second page of the answers. Your mean is going to be your X bar. So my mean is 57.36. That's my mean. My median is going to be on the second page. My median is going to be my MED. So my median is going to be 60. My mode we cannot do on the calculator. My mode is the number or numbers that appear the most. What number or numbers appear the most? None of them. They all appear the same amount of time. So my mode is going to be none. My mid-range is going to be the highest number plus the lowest number divided by 2. Well, down here, I can see my highest number and my lowest number. So my highest number is 99, my lowest number is 7, and I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'm going to do 99 plus 7, and then 99 plus 7, and then divide it by 2. So my mid-range is going to be 53. Okay, so my mean came out to be 57.09. So did mine. Yeah, but you, put, you put 85 instead of 82. I love you. Oh, well, there it is. Okay. So everything came out right. So All right, so one. let me go stat edit, and we'll have to get somebody to watch me. because. All right, so which one is it? Any? One before six. All the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. Okay. 82. So you see what I did? I went on top of that one and I just retyped it and hit enter. So I'm going to pull that over. And then I'm going to drag these two away. Yeah, anytime you have something different than me, it's probably because I screwed up. So now I'm going to do stat calc, one bar stats. There's page one. Does that look better? Because every, all the answers came out. That's what's weird. All the yeah. answers came out right except for that one. Yeah. Because the mid-range is only based on the high and the low. The, me, the median is only based on the middle. So the only one that's going to, the mean is based on everything. And so that middle, that, the only, yeah, so that's the only one that's going to screw everything up. So third, so the, 57.09. So this is going to be the mean, and this is going to be the median, and then this is my high and my low. Thank you. We good? Yeah, I usually have one person that's like um, in charge of making sure that I type things in right. Now, it says, what do those results tell us? So, what, what we're typing in is jersey numbers. <laughs> Jersey number 89, jersey number 91, jersey number 55, blah, blah, blah. So we found the average jersey number, the median jersey number, the mode jersey number, and the mid-range jersey number. Mathematically, does that tell us anything? Yes. So if I said the Seattle Seahawks, I think that's who we're doing, their average jersey number is a 57.09. No, no. Does that mean anything mathematically? No. no. Why does it not mean anything mathematically? You can't have 57.09 jerseys. You can't have a 57.09 jersey. Because jersey numbers, are they numbers, Brian? No. Jersey numbers, are they numbers? No, no they're people, right? They're people. They're names. So these are really not numbers. These are names. So we can't do math on numbers, even though we did. So these answers don't mean anything. You said we can't do math on numbers. I mean, we can't do math on names. Keep me, keep me straight, bud. We can't do math on names. So these really aren't numbers. They're names. That's like me taking social security numbers and saying, oh, the average social security number for this class is blah, 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 blah. That doesn't make any sense because it's not a number. It's a name.
So this doesn't tell us anything because these are not numbers. They are names. All right. You teach one twenty? Yes, I do. I'm actually starting one twenty. Um, teaching it in about two weeks. All right, let's um, do one more of these just to practice, and then I'm going to give you some answers because we want to do something else with this. Um, main, median, mode, and mid-range. We'll do one more. Unless